Lebanon's media industry hit with an unprecedented crisis. The country has been without a president for two years, and the government is paralyzed by internal division, exacerbated by the conflict in neighboring Syria, putting the media, which relies heavily on political financing, in a tough spot. Print media depends mainly on investments, and it's also suffering from internal and external financial problems, in addition to the regression of advertisements that supported print media financially. This is why newspapers find themselves in a crisis. Beyond the political crisis, Lebanon's media is no longer a playing field for the competing powers in the Middle East. During the 1975-1990 Lebanese civil war, Libya, Iraq and Syria were key financiers, using the press to get their messages across. After the war, Saudi, Qatari and Iranian money took over. But a few years on, coffers are running dry. These regimes have taken to setting up newspapers on their own turf, rather than looking to Lebanon. We've reached a dead end. Lebanese newspapers have now become local papers only, because they're no longer concerned with Arabic matters. And this is also due to the economic crisis in Lebanon. Readers now seem to have moved on to social media, and speculation is rife that the famed An Nahar newspaper, founded in 1933, could be on the brink of closure. Its editors have denied the rumors, but its journalists say they haven't been paid for the past seven months.